morning YouTube welcome to another week's video um, so I had some issues I'm not gonna lie so Sunday I didn't post I got loads of work done on the van the weekend and then I um, my phone I only used my phone for, um, for, for sort of filming and then the storage had run out and then I deleted uh, all the videos so I couldn't post I was absolutely gutted um, but I'll give you a stop crying about it now I guess so I'll um, give you a brief um, thing of what we uh, of what's happened so um, we had a big issue with the van um, last Friday on the way back a, a guy pulled up to me and said it looks like you're leaking uh, coolant from the back of your van so I thought oh, I'll get it home I'm only 15 minutes away um, by the time I got back the van was all smoky and I'd actually uh, a fuel line had actually popped off I'll quickly show you what I've done to rectify that and I'll show you the other jobs I've been doing spare me just a sec So yeah guys, what had actually happened is this fuel line here had um, popped off and it was just obviously pumping out fuel everywhere. Um, to be honest, if it was a petrol, I'd have gone down in a massive ball of flames. But luckily for me, it was um, it's diesel. Um, so what I did, um, when I bought the van originally, um, this pipe here, wasn't on there, so I, I bought a whole set of these. Um, just fitted that one at the side of the road because I picked it up from London and drove it back. So what I did over the weekend, um, I just fitted all of them um, and changed changed these pipes. They're only cheap, six pound for a, a length. So I changed all those, so that's working fine. I'll show you what else I've been up to. One thing else I've also as well is my um, bat box exhaust yeah believe it or not that's the second hand bat box from a sort of breakers yard um, and I had it from if anyone's wondering I had it from a place in Albury in the West Midlands called Bolton um, I did have videos of me repairing it um, I obviously deleted it with all, with all that stuff I have got a couple of photos I believe uh, before obviously this is after um, of what it looked like. Um, the exhaust cost me forty pounds, uh, and with a six with a six pound uh, tub of aerosol, um, I think that's come out really nice. Uh, it's just barbecue paint, uh, black. Uh, I just while I'm on from Volks Magic, I just want to give Lee and the guys there a massive shout out. Um, when I first had the exhaust, there must be two types for these one point six diesels. Uh, and these are different on both so slight the one that I got what he got for me was slightly smaller here I told him about the problem and he had no problem in uh, telling me to run it back up and he's made he didn't have another exhaust but he's made this um, to fit mine I took him a template up uh, and he had that and he made that he made that to fit so um, definitely worth a, a trip up uh, these guys at Volts Magic really 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 helpful um, there isn't a part that I've found them for or a second hand part that I haven't found it for that they haven't been able to to get or have got there um, So yeah, definitely worth shout and I'm chuffed how that's come out. I mean, I think I priced these back boxes up and I don't think I think they're close to 200 quid, you know 46 that is all done. So it's, you know Definitely worth uh, Definitely worth a shout trying to do it yourself. I think that looks quite nice um, and then in the future, like I've said to them, fairly the future, if you want like a stainless steel exhaust system, all I want to do at the minute is just get it running, get it past this MOT, that's in November now. Um, so there, yeah, that's that done. Yeah, and while I was at it, I had to get that air box out. So we've uh, give that an MRI to make that look like new as well. So yeah, guys, that gets us pretty much back um, up to date. Um, with what I've been doing doesn't look a lot but uh, and that job for the um, the fueling wasn't the job that I got planned for sort of this weekend but I didn't realize I had a problem till I um, <laughs> got it back home and thank God I did get it back home um, so yeah that gets you up to date with what I've been doing um, I'm gonna crack on for this Sunday's video uh, hopefully numpty doesn't um, delete all the um, files again so I was trying to free up some space I'm, I'm a bit of a dinosaur when it comes to sort of phones and computers um, So yeah, I'm deleted everything off there. I was gutted to say the least 
So yeah, guys, I'm gonna just carry on do a bit today. Um, get everything now ready for sort of Sunday's videos. Well then, guys, my job for this evening. I'm gonna uh, repair the two dents in this tailgate and get that ready for primer, possibly tomorrow. Tomorrow evening, I'll see how I get on. Um, yeah, like I said in the last video, that's pretty much in this kind of weather. All as much but you're going to probably get away with it without it going off. The weather's absolutely lovely, so I'm going to carry on doing that. Uh, I'll get back to you when it's all knocked off. Right then, guys. Um, so put some filler in that last night. And my new favourite thing to do. Um, it's working out quite well. Um, obviously, I didn't want to leave it exposed with filler. I actually rolled on some primer, um, and it's you know what. Instead of dragging all the compressor out for a couple of repairs, it's not a bad thing to do first. So you can get it on quite quick as well. So if you haven't got a compressor, bear it in mind. Um, what I'm doing now, I'll just quickly show you. It's dead sunny today. I don't know how well. I've just put a guide coat on. So a guide coat is put your primer on and you give it a, um, it give it a spray sort of like bracket aerosol. And when you're blocking, you can see where. I don't know how well this is going to come out. I can't see anything on my phone. You see the bits where you've got to pay a little bit more attention to. So I'm going to get all that ready and then I'm going to probably just give it a, a good priming over with the actual compressor and spray gun. Right then guys, so I've masked it all up. Um, as I rolled that um, primer on last night. It's not, you know, it's not, it's not a bad way of doing it than grabbing all the compressor. I mean, this is how you'd have to mask it all out. So just to cover your repair quickly, I used, I've used a roller the last couple of times. It works out quite well, but... I want to give this now just a proper coat of primer before I uh, paint it tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to carry on and do that now. I've moved it into the shade a little bit uh, just to make it easier. Uh, and hopefully things better come out on camera for you guys. So uh, I'm going to carry on with that now. Come on. Yep. Oh yeah, no real art with primer. Just uh, when you put it on, just go with a 50-50 overlap. So I'll explain what they say by the same when you're painting 50-50 overlap. So. And then overlap it by 50 to 10, the last turn. And then again and again and again and again. So that's it guys with about three coats of uh, primer on the back. Um, I've also given it a quick lick over with a bit of um, not just a bit of black spray, any black sort of aerosol that I had lying around just as a guide coat. So possibly tomorrow if I get time I'll flat that back so that will smooth and then I'll paint it grey. The reason I'm painting this tile go grey and I'll be quite honest with you all, um, we're thinking about changing the colour and going darker with the grey so this is kind of like going to so we can look at the back end and see whether we're going to persevere with the rest of it or, or maybe change the colour or go to a darker grey. So um, I'll keep you informed what we decide to do obviously and I'll uh, catch, you all, catch you all tomorrow. Right then guys, how are we all? Um, it's another day, well another evening. I'm going to um, show you what I've been getting up to, uh, what I've been working on uh, and the issues that I'm going to be sort of uh, trying to get done this uh, sort of weekend um, I'll quickly show you just wait there Bear with me. so I was going to stone guard all the bottom under that lining I don't really like the stuff I like the smoother look uh, on cars but beans I'm going to use this as a camper and it, it will rust as we know I'm going to do whatever I can to protect it. So I was going to put uh, a grey sort of stone guard up to that first, where are we? Just up to that first line there, 
all the way around. Um, so there's quite a poor repair there. So I repaired that. Bottom of that door, that had got quite a big dent in. So I repaired that ready for the stone guard. Show you what else I've been up to and the issues. So repaired my tailgate, put some primer on it. Not that bad. That's ready for paint, really. I was going to do that the other day after I'd done the stone guarding, but obviously found this other issue as always. Um, so going wrong to this side of the van to where we've got the issue. So similar scenario, really. Um, repaired that. Was repairing underneath that moulded again and this is where we've uh, got the problem and it looks like I'm gonna have to pull the welder out again so I'll quickly show you guys so just under there it's got a few holes so that's gonna be my job today I'm gonna to cut a patch out and weld the patch in there the rest of it is pretty darn good um, I think we may have issues when we come around. We was going to take the bump prop yesterday and grind all the way around there. So it's a bit, it's a bit rusty in there. But I'm hoping that's just surface rust. It feels solid enough. Fingers crossed. So that's what I'm going to be cracking on and doing, guys. Um, today, which is looking quite good, Polly. Slow progress, but um, the body work and the filler work does take time. So if you've got a project and you're doing it, try not to get too disheartening. The filler and the bodywork will take time. It's not a quick process, it's as simple as. Uh, take your time with it. Like I keep saying, what you put into it now with your prep, with your prep work, will pay dividends when you start putting paint on. Simple as that. That is the biggest tip. <coughs> that is the biggest advice that I could give you, really. Like you say, the mine is going to be no show car. I bought it to go camping, um, but I still want it to look nice. Um, there is it. Sometimes I have to uh, have a chat with myself and think, no, you know, grab the welder, do it properly. Um, so yeah, guys, it's a bit windy today. It's been lovely all week. Well, I've been a, a sort of work, typical. Um, and today it's a bit windy. But we're not painting on we were welding so we should be fine all right guys catch you all in a sec so another issue as well that i had uh last week and i, I did video uh, obviously the air, the air box goes there uh for those for those obviously that know that uh and then he and then the air duct comes down here so there's a there's an air yeah guys there's a this is the air intake um, for the sort of air filter and whatnot. So there's a air intake goes there, air intake hose. Uh, mine wasn't there. Um, I did find it all. It was all, it was it was all at the bottom of this this panel, all like loose and thrown in. And I know the reason why. Um, I'll quickly show you what I've got now. I'm trying to, I'm going to get around the problem. Um, so there's the three components. I'll show you where this obviously goes like that he put sucks the air in goes onto that tube and then obviously that tube then onto the air filter but issue is with this obviously it's so old I can't push that I can't push them fitments onto that now and it's just split now believe it or not and I wish I was the company making those but brand new um, 62 pounds I think that's extortionate. Uh, I know it's insulated. Um, so I've looked on some forums. So what I'm gonna do is I've bought just some normal, I'm not saying normal, I've bought some 76 mil air um, intake pipe. Uh, and I'm gonna use that instead of that. Now, I know what most will say from forums forums and whatnot is that that pipe there is going to be noisier than that pipe there. Well, that pipe on mine wasn't connected at all, so it can't be any worse. That was £15, £62. So I'm going to try that, obviously. You guys have watched a few of my videos now and know that I'm not going to just go and shell out £62 on that pipe. Um, so I'm going to try it with this. It comes in a metre length. I'm going to try that. They reckon it's noisier. Okay. 
it's noisy anyway, the, the van is, um, at the minute. I don't think I'm going to notice any difference with that there at all. I mean, at least it'll be on, and it wasn't on before, so, you know, yeah, you may need that one. But let's see what let's see what happens when we fit this one. Let's see what the what the difference in sound is. So I'm going to put everything back together first before I start this welding uh, of what I stripped out the other day um, and get that all back together. Uh, and then I'm going to crack on with that welding. So I'm going to order a few cable ties. It's a, the, the the fitment to that is a little bit looser than what I'd like. So I'm going to order some cable ties, whatnot else from Tool Station now. Go and pick them up. Come back, fit that and then move on. Right there guys, so I've got that pipe going down there now. To be honest, <laughs> it's a little big for that uh, hole, that pipe. Um, it, takes some, um, it takes some proper wrestling to get it down in there. But it's there. Um, it does kind of fit. I'm not saying it's an easy, it was easy to get that down there because it wasn't. Um, so I guess it's up to you guys if you have that issue, one of those, or what to do. It will go like that as there, but it, it it takes some getting in there. I'm gonna put the other end on now and put the air filter back on. Right then, guys, started on the welding. Um, I'll show you how I'm gonna repair it. It won't be original, um, but I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it. Um, so, how I'm going to do it, it's going to be might be awkward to show you. I'm going to weld that piece coming down there first, and then I'm going to weld obviously a section into there. Let's say that would have had a if I'd got something to bend, I'd be doing this different. I'd be welding that piece on there like that, and then I'd be cutting that piece, welding it, and then spot welding it along that gap. I may even have a go at that to be fair. Uh, why not? But this is what I'm going to do first. I'm going to weld that one there. Right then everyone, first stage of this is done. Just welded that lip in there. And then I've just made a patch for there. So I'm going to make that fit a little bit better. And I'm going to, I'm going to weld that in and I think that'll be that done. Ideally what you would have done is you'd have put that lip coming down to meet that. Ideally you'd have had a lip coming down there to meet that there and then you'd have you'd have pop revited it but I've tried for about an hour to try and bend it. I haven't got anything that'll do it, so I'm just gonna do it this way. Um I'll show you guys when I'm done and finished, but yeah, with that repair done there, it should look alright. So I hope you can all see that that's that repair done, uh, another job done. I'm going to put some fiberglass over it now and then possibly a stone guard that, um, that side of the van. I might do it later. Um, if not, it's with some weeks so I might do it. It won't take long to do one night in the week. So guys, that's me done I think for this week's video. Right then guys, I'm going to leave this week's video right there. Uh, once again, thank you all for subscribing. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy the videos. If you do, do us a favour, give me the big thumbs up. Uh, and you know what, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I try and put a video every week or so more progress on my T25 Polygray. Uh, guys, um, see you all soon. Thank you. Thanks for watching.